This is great. So hi, everyone in this wonderful group. I am so happy to be here today. It's and today I'm going to be speaking about the foundations and strategies that you need to, to scale your business faster and easier, especially if you're a service-based provider, if you're providing any sort of consulting services, you've decided that you want to get your business online, this is the presentation for you today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my screen around and I'm going to do a slide presentation today to make it a little bit more interactive. So this is the fastest and the easiest way to scale your business. This is part one of a two-part series. On Thursday, I'll be going live and talking about tech and automations. Today, we're talking about foundations and strategies. So let's jump in. So who is this for? How do you know if you're in the right place? This is for any service-based health practitioners. So I'm a naturopath. I specialize in health and wellness, and I specialize in helping health practitioners get their businesses online. But really, any coach, consultant, any service-based practitioner can also resonate with this presentation. The rules will be the same, whether you're a health practitioner or any kind of coach, relationship coach, marriage coach, um, business coach, health coach, lifestyle coach, whatever, you, you will also be able to apply these principles to you. So it's for you if you really want a successful business online, if you are currently in a situation where you're consulting one-to-one -one with individuals in a clinical one-to-one -one in person setting and you've said to yourself oh i really need to get online all my peers are getting online and this is the place to be because you're able to scale so much faster and see many more people at once whether you're just starting out or you've been experienced so in our field in the natural health field we have sometimes health practitioners who have been practicing for 20 years in an in-person clinical setting and then now they've only seen that the internet is blowing up and it's time to get themselves online. So it's also for you if you're seasoned, if you're experienced, if you're brand new, if you're fresh out of school or your training program, this is for you. It's also for you if you know that you have this great potential for success, but you feel a little bit overwhelmed and you don't know where to start when it comes to establishing your systems online. You're just completely lost. You know that you need to do it, but you just don't know what to do first. That's often what I'm coming into contact with, with our health practitioners. They know they need to do it. They don't know which thing to implement first, second, third. If you've also lost confidence in your ability to help people out as a health practitioner, this happens sometimes when we're very caught up in the systems, in the tech, in trying to establish the business, we somehow lose our passion for for what we learned for our art and what we've mastered and i don't want this to happen to you that's why i've created a system to try to make the business building part of it as easy as possible so that you can show up and be the thriving entrepreneur that you were meant to be and not get bogged down by all of the systems and the tech okay so this is also for you if you desire that freedom flexibility to be your own boss i know that i need to be my own boss it's become very clear in the past few years i it's very hard for me to have someone telling me what to do and it's very hard for me to work for someone else so if you want to be your own boss if you are have that spirit of an entrepreneur inside of you if you want to be location independent meaning you want to grab your laptop and head out to the beach somewhere and still work you know i'm not saying you're not going to be working but if you want to have that location independence if you want to be in charge of your schedule if you want to scale and be able to earn more money you need to have these systems in place and this is not just like a lala dream that i'm talking about this is definitely possible if you have your systems in place properly. If you want to be also rewarded and, you know, your, your job is supposed to be fulfilling and rewarding because you're helping other people if you're a service-based practitioner, right? So if you want to make sure that your job is rewarding and exciting and you're helping people get better, you're making an impact, then this is also for you. So this is all the things that Gabby and I, I'm going to introduce Gabby and I in a minute. We longed for this when we were in our clinical one-to-one -one inpatient setting. Gabby is a naturopath of 20 years. She's my business partner and I'm a naturopath of 10 years. And we were constantly in clinic seeing patients one-to-one, -one, but we longed for something different, something where we could earn more money, have more time freedom. We both have two small children and we wanted to come up with a system where we could be online and be profitable and happy and, and making an impact and helping people. 
So what we're going to cover in the next hour of this presentation, 45 minutes to an hour, is we're going to cover the ins and outs of running an online health business. We're going to come to understand exactly what needs to be in place. Those are the systems, the eight must-have fundamentals for a successful online business as a service-based practitioner. We're going to look at the strategy and the framework, make sure that you have all of these things in place. And we're going to look at an online practice, which is automated, one that you can leverage and scale one that grants you more time, more freedom, more income freedom, and that you're making a positive difference in this world. So I definitely want to encourage you guys to stay until the end. This presentation is of great value. It's not just a sales pitch. I promise you, I'm going to present you with what I've created at the end for sure. I'm not going to hide that because it's going to be of value to you, but this presentation is full of value. So even if you just stay for the next 45 minutes to an hour, and then you leave at the end, that's okay. You're going to gain so much value throughout the presentation. So I have a really valuable gift that I've created that I want to give you at the end of the presentation. I will give you the link. This is the five pillars to running your successful health practice guide. It's also a workbook. So you can treat it as a journal and you can actually do the exercises. This, this is a guide that we've put together to make sure that you have the right systems, you gain an understanding of what exactly, you know, what's going on with you in life and in business, where might you be stuck and how to move forward in the right way immediately. So it's a very actionable workbook. So stay till the end to receive it. So does this sound like you? Now this applies, as I say, to any service-based practitioner, coaches, health practitioners. We fall into these traps of having all of these um, blockages that stop us from moving forward. So from years and years of speaking with hundreds of health practitioners that are service-based, I've noticed a pattern. Many will feel very insecure in specific areas. And when they have these insecurities, it will block them from moving forward. It will block them from actually attaining their goals and their dreams. So listen to these and see if you fall into a similar pattern because we're gonna to wanna to break these patterns and habits because they're not serving us in any positive way. So some practitioners will say that they feel like a fraud, meaning they're working in the health sector, but maybe their um, health isn't perfect and they eat burgers and fries and they feel like they're teaching people about health and wellness, but they're not actually following it 100% themselves. Okay, this could apply to you if you're um, a business coach. Let's say you teach people about business strategies, but you also struggle in your business. Now, no one is meant to be perfect. Like we're not meant to be perfect human beings, but we're doing the best thing that, you know, we're doing the best possible that we can. And if we are just one step ahead of where a client is struggling, just one step ahead, we've made, you know, one positive step beyond what they can see themselves doing right now, then we have, it's our duty and responsibility to actually help our fellow practitioners bring them out of the water and help them with the skills that we've attained. So all of these are, there are things that happen within our psychology and in our mind, but they're not necessary. So we have to like bring awareness to them, visit them and then get rid of them because they're not serving us in any way. Some practitioners will say, who am I to help anybody? You know, I'm far from being perfect. Who am I to actually help? Some will say, who would even want to work with me? You know, I don't have my my stuff all together, who would even trust me with their health and wellness or with their relationship or with their business? Now, many will people, people uh, in the health service-based business will feel overwhelmed. They don't know where to start. And because of that, they just freeze and they don't actually take any action forward. So that's also very detrimental because if you just get the ball rolling, if you just do that first step, then everything snowballs positively from there. You just need to make that first step and know that you have the right system laid out. Some will compare themselves to others, looking online, seeing what your peers are doing and saying, oh my goodness, that person is so much further ahead than me and I'm never gonna make it that far. But it's not our place to compare ourselves to anyone else. We don't even know what situation they're in. And we don't know, like we don't know anyone's background. So it's not, our, it's not in our favor to actually compare ourselves to anyone else because we have no idea where people are at. And then many will say, this is a common one that I, I've invested so much time, so much energy, so much of my knowledge and expertise, but I'm not actually getting any results. This is a common one and we have solutions for this, I promise you. And then some will not even be able to see the value in what they provide or they forget the value. So let's say you've built this amazing online signature program, you've poured your heart and soul into this, you know it's very actionable, you know it's getting your clients results because you've built it on a methodology that you've used to actually help your clients. But then you start saying, 
oh, you know, my course isn't really valuable. Like, I don't really see the value in it. And this is something you always have to remind yourself of. You have to like go into your program, look at the module, look at what you've created and say, wow, this is amazing. Like remind yourself that what you've created is so incredible and has the ability to help so many people. So let me tell you that you are not alone. If you have these types of, um, you know, lies or excuses or myths that you're telling yourself, it's okay, you're not alone. Let's bring awareness to them and let's start busting these myths and getting rid of them because these are blockers to your success, okay? So many health practitioners that we, we speak to health practitioners all the time, service-based practitioners on calls, and we realize that many are going through the same thing. Many have these things in common. And so you're not alone. Now, what we've noticed with uh, service-based practitioners who see their clients one-to-one, -one, we've noticed a really specific pattern over the years. And this pattern tends to repeat over and over and keep ourselves, it keeps us stuck in sort of this vicious cycle. So what happens is that we consult one-to-one -one with our clients. We say, come in for a consultation. We meet them. We sit one-to-one -one with them in the clinic or in the office. And in that moment, we're trading our time for dollars, okay? So only as far as the session goes, if it stops at 60 minutes, that's the amount of information you're able to convey to your client. And that is the value that they're going to get. There's a bit of a discord there. Do you see what I mean? Like, what if you need to tell your client so much more? What if they're missing so much information in order to get better? You're blocked by that one hour session. Okay. What we find as service-based health practitioners is we're repeating the common health advice, each client over and over and over again. We're constantly saying, you know, hydrate properly, get enough sleep, take your supplements, reduce inflammatory foods, remove gluten, remove sugar, whatever. We're always repeating the same things over and over again. After that session is done, we're often spending our evenings away from our families for hours on end researching and going into the books and writing the individualized reports because we believe in individualized support when we're doing one-on-one -on -one consulting. So we're spending hours on the report writing. Often those are unpaid hours. And because of this, it keeps us in a income ceiling block. We're only able to earn so much. And so we need to go out there and find a second job that is completely unrelated to health and wellness. And I can say that so many of my peers and colleagues, unfortunately, are not even working in what we studied. They're not even working in health and wellness. They're working in completely different fields and perhaps not even so happy doing that. And that in turn leads to us feeling burnt out and tired because it's like we're working two jobs. We're just trying to catch our tail. And then there's the difficulty of finding a steady stream of clients consistently, which means that we need to have that second job in order to meet ends meet. So many service-based practitioners are having a hard time making a professional career out of what they learned and out of their passion and what they studied. And this is just such a tragedy. That's how I see it. It's a tragedy because we were, we're gifted. We're meant to be doing a certain thing in this world. And all of a sudden, because we don't have the proper systems and steps in place, then we abandon our passion and we go do something else, okay? So we need to break free of this vicious cycle. And I'm gonna show you the systems and strategies in order to do that, okay? This is what the presentation is about. So what is actually the real problem? Why are we in this vicious cycle? Well, the real problem is that, you know, there are moments when things seem hard. We just wanna throw in the towel. We wanna quit and we don't wanna do it anymore. And that can happen even throughout the career of your business building journey. And sometimes that's okay. And sometimes it's what we need to go through. But if we actually throw in the towel and go do something else, then it's problematic. So it's not that something is wrong with you. It's not that you're incapable. The real problem is that if you went to school for, I'll speak on behalf of health practitioners, if you went to school to learn the art of healing, uh, how to be a naturopath, how to be a functional medicine doctor, how to be a Reiki practitioner, how to be a massage therapist, an osteopath, chances are the school did not teach you how to run a business and especially not how to run an online business because running an online business is completely different than running a brick and mortar business and a clinic, okay? So we're learn, we learn how to you know, take the case. We learn the anatomy physiology of digestion. We learn about like the supplements and the drug and medication and supplement interactions. We learn the art and science of healing, but we haven't learned how to build a business. So after school, what happens is so many of these health practitioners are floundering 
So Gabby is actually a lecturer at the College of Naturopathic Medicine in the UK. And her students are always coming to her and saying, Gabby, what are you doing online? Like, I wanna do the same thing. I don't even understand what you're doing. Can you explain it to me? They, they kind of know that they have to do it, but it's not included in the curriculum of these schools. And it, it's a real disservice. So the problem is that we're missing the proper roadmap, the strategies, the tools, and the systems in order to know exactly what we need to do to bring our businesses online and to actually turn our art of healing in this example, into a profitable business and a career, <clears throat> okay? So the truth is that once you have the proper system and roadmap in place, along with the clarity of what you need to do, the exact steps in order to make it happen, you can expect to, to have beautiful things happen. So you can consistently attract your ideal client into your world. You can create the perfect content that magnetizes and attracts your ideal client. You can generate leads on autopilot. You can finally, with confidence, charge for the transformational value that you and your program provide. Because in my case, as a natural health practitioner, and it might be for you too, even a relationship coach, a life coach, you're literally transforming someone's life, right? Like the value of what you provide is massive. There's no price tag on that, but you need to put a price tag on it because you need to charge for it because you're running a business. But if you think about what you're doing for your client, the transformation, the value, the impact it's going to have on facilitating their lives and helping them live a beautiful life, there's no price tag on that. So just, you know, always keep that in mind, okay? It's going to help you get visible once you have the proper systems, share your message, and continue to grow a loyal following of raving fans who are so excited for everything that you put out there. You release a new program, they're ready to buy it. You have a free ebook, they're ready to download it. They believe in you, they trust you, they know you, they see what you have to offer, and they are ready to finally take that step with you. So who are we? So Gabby and I, as I said, are naturopaths. She's a naturopath of 20 years. I'm a naturopath of 10 years. We're both moms of two little kids. I have a boy and a girl, and so does she. She lives in the UK. I live in Canada. And together, we came together to actually help people with, with digestive issues. So we specialize in helping individuals with irritable bowel syndrome. That's digestive issue that many, many people struggle from, the gas, the bloating, the constipation, the diarrhea, all of that the uncomfortable symptoms that take over their lives. And we came together, we built a community of uh, over 20,000 members of individuals suffering from IBS. And we decided that they were suffering so badly that we wanted to help. So it's actually a global group. It's called the IBS support group worldwide. So you can, you know, anyone in the world can join, which is pretty amazing. This is what having an online business and structures allows you to do. It allows you to reach people from the globe. It's, it's incredible and meet people and network. It's really a lot of fun, actually. So we saw that people in our group were struggling so badly. So we put together with our, with both of our knowledge, with both of our experience, our history of helping clients, what worked, what didn't work. We know what works. We know what doesn't work with our clients. We put together a comprehensive eight week modulated program called your IBS solution. And throughout doing this, we saw that we love putting these structures together. We love helping health practitioners. We love health practitioners thriving and succeeding because the more health practitioners we are able to help, the more individuals will be able to be helped in this world, right? That's our ultimate goal to help people get better and get healthy. That's our mission. And if we can help the professionals who help in turn, many other people, then we are succeeding and we are happy and thriving and we're fulfilling our mission in life. So let's discover the eight must haves, the systems and the frameworks that you need in order to run your online business. Let's jump in. Fundamental number one. So in order to have a successful online business, you need to start up here. You need to up-level your mindset for success. If you're always thinking, I'm going to be a failure, this is never going to succeed, I'm never going to make it, no one's going to buy my stuff, forget about it. You have to change your mindset, okay? So the road to building a business is not always so straightforward. It's not always so simple. It's not always easy. Let me tell you, it takes a lot of work at the beginning. It's a huge investment of a ton of work, um, a ton of investment, uh, you know, Sorry, my mom was calling. Okay, you need to really invest yourself at the beginning and you need to get into the right stable, steady state of mind. And what this means is that sometimes you have to 
listen to a guided visualization every day, you know, create a recording of your ideal vision for yourself, your beautiful vision for yourself, record it, listen to that every day. So having a strong stabilizing driving force and a strong anchoring mindset is really going to help you in your whole process because things are going to come up, things are going to go wrong. You might have a failed launch, but you can't get off course. You need to stay on course and having a strong, faithful, unwavering mindset is going to help you get there. Okay. So this is the first fundamental for setting yourself up for success. So I'm just going to turn off this phone. Okay. Thanks for your patience. So what do you guys think? Mindset for success? Comment down below. Do you feel like your mindset is set up for success? So during this presentation, I actually can't see the comments, but I will respond to all the comments right after the presentation. So, you know, it's really important to not let your mindset get stuck in past failures. So I'll give you an example of what happened to me. So I had um, a business, my naturopathic, my first business called Health Quickie, and I did it on my own and I did a detox. So I ran a detox program and I put together this beautiful course, this beautiful detox. I knew it would help people get healthy, have great skin, better digestion, the whole thing. And I hired someone to do Facebook ads for me. I ran my launch and my launch miserably failed. And I spent a lot of money and a lot of time building those structures out and investing in the Facebook ads and the guy and the agency and that whole thing. And it actually kept me stuck for a long time after, like I couldn't get myself up anymore because of that one failure, but you can't do that. You have to like, if, if, if it doesn't work out, you're going to learn from those mistakes. You're going to learn so much from those failures, from those past failures. You just pick yourself back up again. And there are more people who need you. There are more people you can help. There are more people you can reach and change lives. So it's okay. Even if you're on a sales call with someone and they say no, you have to get used to most people saying no and some people saying yes on your sales calls. Even if you, you, know, you find that you have three streaks of, of people saying no, no, no on a sales call, you can't let that get you down. This is business. You have to have like a tough skin. So if that happens to you, you have to be able to pick yourself up again and just keep moving and think to yourself, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to speak to another person right after this who actually needs my service and will maybe invest in me. So let me bring my whole all to the conversation. Now, in order to have a successful online business, you also need to get clear about the foundations of your business. And what do I mean by this? There are certain things that must be in place. And this is why I say I built my academy out in a very specific order. So you can't just like build your business and like throw up a website first before you know your ideal client and create your lead magnet before you created your course. Like you really have to do things in a very strategic, clear order, step by step, one by one. If you don't do this, you're going to have to go back and undo what you've done and redo everything all over again. So you really have to follow a very step-by-step -step strategic order to build out your online business. It has to be done this way. There's no way about it. Okay. So first of all, you have to have, you have to get clear on who it is that you help your ideal client. You have to get clear on the problem that your ideal client is suffering from. What is keeping them awake at night? What's making them miserable? Why can't they live a healthy and happy life? What is bothering them? Okay. Then obviously you as a professional, as a service-based practitioner, you have to have a solution. You have to have a way, a methodology to solve their problem. You also have to be able to communicate to them that you indeed are a person and a professional that has a solution to their problem. And you have to communicate what the solution is, how you're going to help them lay that solution out and finally achieve that solution and get them to a place of resolution. You have to promise your ideal client that you are able to get them from point A, which is the dreadful state where they're suffering, they're in pain, they're unhappy, they're miserable, to the dream state from A to Z. At the end of working with you, at the end of going through your program, at the end of having you know, a package of sessions with you, this is what they are going to be able to achieve. They're going to get to the dream state where they're happy. They're not compromised by symptoms anymore. They're not suffering anymore. They are able to live their best life. They are not being dragged down by their mindset. Whatever it is that you're promising, you have to have a clear vision of what it is that they are going to achieve once they get from the dread state to the dream state. And in between, 
they, there are a certain um, number of action steps that they have to take in order to get them to that state, state, right? The same way I help health practitioners build their businesses. I say, okay, you're miserable. You're not getting clients here. You are about to throw in the towel and quit. And I want to get you to a place where you are able to have consistent clients. They're coming into your world on autopilot. You don't have to work so hard anymore. Your systems are all automated. And they're just, there's a series of steps, right? No matter what you do, there's a journey that your client has to take with actionable steps. They have to take action and make it happen so they get from pain to pleasure, right? Awesome. And so all of these, you know, you really need to understand who your ideal client is, what they're suffering from, what your solution is. Very fundamental. If you don't do that first, you can't do anything else because all of your messaging and marketing and content and social media posts, everything should be based on that, nothing else. If you wanna make sales, your online course should be based on that, your lead magnet should be based on that. You need to base everything on the fundamentals. So you need to set your fundamentals up first, okay? You need to have very clear, clear and targeted messaging that speaks specifically for, to your ideal client. So I have a beautiful exercise that I have all of my uh, practitioners do when they get into the academy. And it's called the gold exercise. So I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to tell you what I do, but it is a powerful exercise. They just do that one exercise and it's like they lay their entire business out. Everything just becomes so clear to them. So you need to have a clear message. You need to know what you're talking about. You need to know what your ideal client is suffering from. So you can, um, you can reflect that language back to them so they can identify themselves in what you're saying. And you need to, so even if you're transitioning from like uh, a an, an brick and mortar in-person clinic to an online space, it's okay. Think of what you've been doing successfully with your brick and mortar people. Who have you been able to help? How have you been able to help them? What is their suffering? What is their dream state? You can even call them up and interview them. You know, I encourage my clients in the academy to do this. Call up old clients that you've had and tell them what, you know, ask them what they loved about your service. Ask them what they were experiencing when they came in. Ask them what it was like when they finally went through your, your system and how they felt after. You're going to gain everything from this. This is everything. Like you need to speak to the actual people who it is that you help. So it's easy for us as business owners and entrepreneurs to make things up and to invent what we think our client is suffering from. But actually, let's just, you know, take all of that away and sit with our client and see what it is that they actually need. That's the best, right? And it's so much more simple than we make things so complicated. Let's just put it that way. Okay. So what does having clear messaging actually look like? It looks like your ideal client will land on your landing page or land on a Facebook post that you write or an Instagram post or anything. They'll be able to identify themselves in your messaging. They'll be able to say, oh my God, they land on your sales page. She's talking about me. Oh my God, look, she completely explained what I'm going through. She really understands me. And they're going to want to work with you. Why? Because you understand them. Because they've never felt understood before. Because they've been going in circles, trying to go to other professionals, trying to get answers, never getting the answers that they need. And finally, here you are. You show up with this messaging that speaks to them. And you're like, and they're just like, oh my gosh, I need to work with them credit card, how do I pay? Where do I pay? I want in your program. See how beautiful that is? So when you set the systems up properly, you don't have to push and hustle and work and convince and all of this stuff. It just happens. It just happens magnetically, energetically. People come because they want what you have to offer. Okay. So fundamental number three, in order to have a successful online business, you need to develop your system or methodology that transforms lives, whether you're a service-based practitioner, health coach, life coach, relationship coach, um, makeup artist, uh, culinary nutrition artist, yoga teacher, whatever, doing things online, obviously, you know, like yoga practitioners, exercise practitioners online, you need to have your methodology. You know what your system is if you've been practicing for a while. You know why clients come to you, you know what they're coming to you for, you know what they're suffering with, and you know how they need help and what they need help with. This is where you start to piece together your system. What this system is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to run your clients through a modulated program, okay? So modulated meaning modules and lessons. It's an online course, basically. So instead of meeting with you one-to-one, one-to-one, one-to-one all the time, 
instead, they're going to get all the fundamentals that they can't get in session in the structure of a signature program. This is your methodology that you put together. You lay it out step by step. So it's in service to your client It's in certain, because your client will be able to finally get everything they need that they can't get in individual one-to-one -one sessions. It's in service to you because you have a structure put together. You don't have to recreate the wheel over and over every single time from fresh. It's there. You're running people through it successfully. You're able to then free up some of your time to do the marketing that you need to do for your online business. Maybe have a few extra hours to spend with your family, enjoying yourself so that you're not stuck in that office for eight hours a day consulting one-to-one. -one. Finally, you're able to put a high ticket price on this beautiful program that you develop once, and then you continue to run people through it. A high ticket program could earn you a significant amount of income. So let's say you charge three to four thousand dollars, you sell five programs a month. Do the math, okay? I want you to sit and do the math of what you would charge for your program and how much you're able to generate by putting in so much less time and so much more, so much less effort down the road. Of course, the effort is going to be put in uh, initially. You're going to build everything out. It's going to take time. It's going to take work. It's going to take a lot of brain power. But once you finally build this out and you have people running through it, you're constantly going to refine it. People are always going to give you feedback and criticism and what didn't work and what worked. It's okay. You're always refining, making it perfect. But at least you have the foundations in place and you're running people through it. It's a really beautiful model. So what should your signature program entail? So it should entail, you know, everyone has a unique methodology of working with you. And we teach you in the academy how to actually build out your signature program because it's easy for us. I'll just take the example of health practitioners. We uh, are in this because we are passionate about it. We wanna help people, we have a big heart and we almost wanna regurgitate everything that we learned in school because we wanna give them everything they need to know to get healthy. But at the end of the day, your client suffering from an individual specific health condition doesn't need to know the entire textbook. They don't need to know the entire scientific reasoning behind what you're prescribing to them. All they want to know is they want to show up. They want to get the um, they want to get the advice, recommendations, strategies, so that they can implement and get better. That's what they care about. They're paying you so that you give them the shortest, easiest, fastest route to getting better. That's what you're being paid for. So you need to build out your signature program in that way. Let me tell you the first time I built out my IBS program, I worked on it. By the way, there were several iterations and versions of it. I poured everything that I knew into there. I literally like took my lectures of what I learned from school and I poured it into my course. What a disaster. They don't need to know all that. They don't want to know all that. And it's going to make them not want to even do it. It's going to scare them off and feel overwhelmed. So we teach you in the academy how to actually refine your signature program and only put in what you need to put in and nothing more, okay? So it has to effect effectively deliver the results and the promise that you outlined in the beginning. So your course promise, and we teach you all of this in the academy. So how to start your signature program. So you might be thinking, how do I put all of these pieces into place? So, you know, what I said before, reach out to your previous clients that you've been able to help successfully find out exactly what you did with them successfully. And you're going to sort of start laying out and mapping out your process. You're gonna do like a brainstorming document and outline those specific areas that they need to take action on in order to start feeling better or having better relationships or having a better business, whatever it is, map out your successes from the past, okay? And when marketing your signature program online, you, you never wanna, tell them that they're going to get like five PDF downloads and three videos and six modules. Like they don't really care about that. Those are kind of the, the features of your program and the technicals of your program. But what they wanna know, if they're in a place of suffering, they're literally coming to you in a desperate place, right? They're coming to you when they've tried everything else, nothing's working, and maybe this is the answer to their problem. You want to you want to like give them only what they need to know. So it's not about presenting them with like all of the details and the nitty gritty, but you also want to express to them the transformation that they're going to experience at the end of going through your program. So, you know, this is the destination. You take a plane to get to 
uh, where do you want to go? Dominican Republic. <laughs> you take an airplane. I'm not going to start selling you on the features of the airplane. We've got airbags. We have wide seats. We have this and that. Like all they're thinking about is getting to the Dominican Republic, sitting on the beach and drinking a pina colada and relaxing and de-stressing. They want to know what the final end destination is going to be and how they're going to benefit. This is what you have to relay in your marketing materials and messages. And we teach you all of this in the academy. So again, you want to provide value. So in order to have a successful online business, you need to provide value to your clients and build your authority. You need to continually show up in your group. I would suggest, highly suggest building a, an online closed Facebook group, like a community of where your ideal clients can collect. And you go in there and you provide value. You show them that you're an authority figure, that you know what you're speaking about when it comes to that subject. And that you uh, give a lot, you have to be a giver. So, sorry about that. You have to give, okay? So it's not just like um, asking, buy my thing, buy my thing, buy my thing. No one's gonna buy your thing. You have to show up and you have to take time to do this. It's gonna take time to build up and show them that you are a giver. You provide lots of value. You help them take the first steps. You give them you know, the initial steps that they need to take. And if they want to work more deeply with you, you have a signature program that you can invite them into. Uh, there's an application process to get in, even make it a little bit more like desirable, uh, make it a little bit harder to get into. And they have to prove that they are a good candidate for your program. Okay, so how do you build authority? Well, you, you must have a lead magnet. Do educational Facebook live streams, not just educational, but also entertaining and fun and smile and be animated, show up. Um, Instagram stories, of course, this is how you can show up online, uh, webinars and masterclasses, the same way I'm doing a masterclass today to the audience here, um, blog posts that are SEO optimized, uh, sending out, you know, regular newsletters, there are all different ways that you can build your authority and provide value. Um, in the academy, we teach you how to do the strategic ones that are actually going to get you results because there are fads within marketing. Uh, some things are really popular and work at some time. Some things stop working. Facebook ads is a perfect example of where, you know, it's a little bit more costly at this time because of the algorithm to invest in Facebook ads. You have to invest quite an, an amount. You have to really stand out because there's so much noise, right? Facebook is a very busy place. You have to have ads that really stand out, that capture attention, that have good messaging, that lead them to a proper landing page. So there are certain things that are, um, they come in and out of fashion, I would say. And it's important to be on top of what's trending and focus on that. But in order to even do all of that, that's all the marketing stuff. That doesn't even matter what's in, what's out, what's hot, what's not. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, once you have your foundation in, in place, like your sales funnels, I'm going to talk about this on Thursday, where I'm going to talk about all the tech and automations. But your grounding features of your business are always going to be the same. It, it doesn't rely on like what's in fashion and what's not. You've got to have your sales funnel in place. You have to have your book a call system in place. You have to have a place to host your content for your course, your online program, you know, the learning areas. You have to have a CRM system to collect names and email addresses and information. You have to have your lead magnet set up. As I say, you should have a good webinar set up. You should have your booking a call system. They can call and find out more about your program. So these are all fundamental systems that you have in place no matter what, okay? It's only the social media stuff that goes in and out of fashion. And once your systems are in place though, it's okay. You have more time to play. You have more energy to like find out about what's in and what's not and TikTok and Instagram and all of this stuff. But as long as you have your foundations in place, because that's all about marketing to drive traffic into your foundational systems. Okay, you have to master the art of making sales. So this is really, really important. This is something that um, I teach in depth in the academy, being a good salesperson, because many of us service-based practitioners, we're arts, we're, you know, masters of our craft, but maybe we haven't learned the art of, and science of selling. And it's a whole other field. It's a lot of fun once you master it. It's incredible. You can turn on and off the faucet whenever you decide you want to sell more programs and earn more income you turn on the faucet you get on that phone you start making sales calls and making sales it's a very important skill to know in life is how to make sales you know even when you're negotiating with your children at home you need to learn the art of negotiation and making sales so at first it can seem very daunting and scary but once you learn and you study and you master it 
you can sell your programs on autopilot. It's really everything. Honestly, it's everything. And along with that comes the mindset for making sales. So when we are on sales calls, especially in the health and wellness field, especially changing relationships, businesses, people are very resistant to change. They don't want to make change. They don't want to start eating salads instead of burgers and fries. So they come up with all kinds of excuses and I call them yes blockers and obstacles. And we need to know how to bust through those objections. They're also objections. So we need to be in the right mindset in order to help our client clearly see through the excuses and the procrastination and the reasons why they're making excuses for not wanting to do it. And we need to be able to be in that right mindset. We need to be able to help our clients get into the right mindset as well to show them that this is what they actually need in order to change their lives. So it's really a lot of fun. I mean, I've, I've come to love making sales calls. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but uh, it's, it's super fun. It's like a challenge. Every person is a challenge. You get to know them. You get to help them. You get to provide so much value on the call, whether or not they purchase. So it really is life-changing. It's an amazing experience. Okay. So next. So this is a little bit more about the sales call, but we do go into that in depth in the academy. So I want you to meet Josiane. She is a natural chef and behavior psychologist. She came into the academy and worked with us. And she doubted at first that she could make any health consultations. She doubted that she could make this into a full profession. She was fresh out of college. She was just getting started. She felt overwhelmed and she didn't know where to start. She didn't know like what she should do first, where she should focus her attention and her efforts. And she was really unclear. So when she went through the Bridging the Gap Academy, we helped her through all of this. So we support our clients in a way that, I mean, we provide excellent customer support because we really want all of our health practitioners to succeed. So with Josiane, we were able to sit with her, map out her program, and finally she was able to release it into the world, make sales, and be successful with her program. So as I said, you need to perfect the art of the discovery call. And this is, some people call, will call it like a discovery call. Some people will call it a um, strategy call, uh, an audit of some kind. Do you want to like change up the name sometimes? And this is basically where you get on the call with a potential prospect and you find out what they're struggling with, where the problem is, um, why are they stuck? How can you help them get better? How can you help them see that what they're doing is not working for them right now? How you can provide your solution, which is your signature program, what it's all about, what it has the potential to do for them, how it can change their lives. You have to be able to relay all of this through a sales conversation. That's why it's really an art and that's why it's well scripted. I have a great script that I provide you guys with in the academy to make sure that you're doing this, laying it out in a very specific order. And especially within health and wellness, there are certain things that we have to, there's a certain journey we have to take our clients on when we have a discovery call because of all of the, um, not the excuses, but the walls that people put up to getting better. Like a lot of people are, they want to stick to their old habits because it's comfortable for them, right? They've, they've been used to doing this for so many years and they don't really want to make the change. So we have to be able to help them see how those things are keeping them stuck and how instead they can move forward in a really positive direction. So this is what we do on a sales call or a discovery call, whatever you want to call it. And in order to run a successful online business and have it consistently staying alive and in business, you need to continuously generate fresh new people into your community, into your online business, into your online signature program. You need new people all the time. Why? Because even if, you know, I'm going to tell you, even if we have a group, which we do of over 20,000 members for our irritable bowel syndrome group, the IBS support group worldwide, a lot of those leads a lot of those people are not um, active, right? They're kind of like stagnant people. They're just sitting there and I don't even know if they're seeing our posts. Like, I don't know if they're engaging. That's why it's important for us to continually always have new people coming into our program. There are times when we have 50 to 100 people asking to get into our community every single day, okay? Some of those are spam. Some of those are good. We need to filter through every person, but we're always generating new people into our world. And this is important because fresh leads are, they're, 
you're new to them. Your product is new to them. Your ideas are new to them. And so in order to have a thriving business, you really need to have fresh leads at all times. And there are specific lead generation processes that we teach you in the academy how to put in place. Okay. So here's a little flow chart that we put together. What is the process of getting clients? So you're going to bring targeted traffic into your world. This can happen in several ways. It can happen by way of Facebook advertising. It can happen by way of networking. You can have a um, health professional referral system, you know, generating people into your world because they know what you have to offer and they don't offer the same thing. You want to build relationships with your new people. You want to form a supportive community, make them feel comfortable where they are, make sure you're constantly providing value, building up your authority, coming up as the expert, getting them to know, like, and trust you. And then eventually, you know, they're still suffering, right? They're just watching you at first, but eventually you want to offer them your signature program as a solution to their problem. Then you want to eventually enroll them into your signature program. And this is how you continually bring new leads into your world, take them through your process, basically where you're nourishing them, building relationship, getting them to know, like, and trust you. And finally, enrolling them into your solution where they're going to benefit. They're going to feel better after going through your solution. And you are also going to feel better because your wallet is going to be heavier and you're going to be earning for what you put into the world. So this is your profession. This is, you know, instead of getting another job, this is your job. So this is what you do for a living. So you have every right to charge a high ticket um, price tag for your signature program. I just had a, a client of mine say, people are saying, because she helps them with pain, people are saying that I only, I'm trying to like steal money from people um, by helping them with their pain. But why? She's been a physical therapist and massage therapist for like 20 years of her life. She's developed that expertise. She's helped so many people get better. She has her methodology down. Like she knows what she's doing. She's an expert in her, expert in her field. So you'll have the naysayers and the people that, that start criticizing you for collecting money, but this is your profession. This is what you do for a living. So, you know, never, ever get uh, pulled into that. Okay. And this goes back to what I said before, what, what you provide is of massive value. You're able to transform someone's life. So never, ever forget that. Okay. So a huge part of this is building relationships. Um, getting visible, sharing your message, chatting with people, connecting with people who have the problem that you solve, bringing them into like a private conversation, bringing them into a sales call. It's all about relationship building. So either you're building relationships with potential ideal clients, or you're building relationships with other health professionals or other professionals who can help drive traffic into your world, into your solution. So networking, building relationships, it's all about that. And I've really, really come to realize that within the past year or two that it's all about relationship building and making connections. So Alice is another one of our beautiful clients. She's a nutritionist. She was already a seasoned practitioner. Um, and she had her own nutrition practice for over four years. She'd already been working with ideal clients, helping them with thyroid disease, with Hashimoto syndrome, how to eat for thyroid disease. And it was one-on-one. -on -one. She was uh, consulting with clients based on Zoom, individual consultations. And she was taking up, it was taking up so much of her time seeing clients one-on-one -on -one. after working in the BTG Academy together, we were able to help Alice really hone in on her signature program for Hashimoto's and thyroid disease. And now she's enrolling clients with that specific health condition all the time, helping them manage their stress, helping them eat better for their health condition, giving them meal plans, stress reduction techniques, exercises, everything that they need in order to help their symptoms diminish. And she is doing fantastically. So we're so proud of all of our clients that we're able to help through the academy. It's really incredible. And this is a really important one. So just to tell you that Gabby and I invested so much in our learning in order to become health coaches for, sorry, business coaches for health practitioners, we had to invest a ton of money, a ton of time ourselves. So it's important to have mindset mentoring because our mind can take us into all kinds of different places, as we mentioned in the beginning. And this is critical to your success and business coaching. So it's invaluable to have someone hold you accountable and take you by the hand, step by step, through exactly the steps that you need to take. It's invaluable. Your clients need you more than ever. To, no one's ever done this before. To hold them accountable so that they do what they need to do. They take the actions that they need to take. 
and hold their hand throughout the process. So give them a step-by-step -step method. This is what your signature program is. Module one, lesson one. Module one, lesson two. You're giving them the step-by-step, -step, the actions to take that they need in order to feel better. And you're also checking in with them. You're checking in with them, having individual consultation time in conjunction with them going through your program. So you're there for your client on a one-to-one -one individual basis, but they're also going through and collecting all of the content that they need in order to finally get better. So this is where accountability is everything. So within the Bridging the Gap Academy, we're constantly checking in with our clients, especially our gold members, to see how they're doing, where they're getting stuck, where they need help. Let's help you get started. Let's give you some homework. By the next call, we schedule the next call. I want you to come with your homework already completed. Um, I want you to tell me the deadline of when you're going to have your webinar done, everything. So it's so valuable to have someone holding your hand and, and keeping you accountable and giving you the actual steps that you need to take, okay? It helps you get, say goodbye to overwhelm. It helps you say goodbye to procrastination, to being stuck and to actually not taking action and wasting years of your life not doing anything, okay? Because we've been there before. Trust me, I've been there before where I've been stuck in inaction for such a long time because I didn't know the right order to do things in. The order is everything, okay? What's also nice is that when you have a community of like-minded people going through the same thing as you, you're able to share and talk and work through problems and find a buddy and help each other and hold each other accountable. So this is so valuable also to have a community, which we have in the Academy. We have a beautiful community of business builders, in the health niche that are helping each other out and sharing and, and getting each other unstuck when they get stuck. So building a business without mentoring is like spending endless months and years, even spinning your wheels and doing things that don't work, grabbing for those shiny objects and doing whatever, you know, you listen to a podcast and she says to do a three-part video series. So you jump on that, even though it takes you off path of what you're doing and you end up being stuck. You know, you end up being stuck and not taking the action and maybe going to seek another career, which is not your passion, which is not where you thrive and which is not where you're making an impact and helping people get results and not rewarding for you. Okay. So between Gabby and I, we really invested in business mentoring. We've invested over $90,000 in professional business coaching for ourselves and mentoring for the past three years so that we could really help our health practitioners do the right things and be the best that they can be. We're constantly um, learning and upgrading and improving, reading books, listening to podcasts, seeing what's trending, getting advice from other mentors, other business coaches. We're always up-leveling. You always have to be on top of up-leveling if you're helping people. You always need to be steps ahead of where your ideal client is and where they are struggling. So it is absolutely critical to invest in the proper business coaching and mentoring. So here's what we covered today. We covered the eight fundamentals for having a successful health business online when it comes to foundations and strategies. We talked about mindset. We talked about foundations, developing your signature program, providing value, building your authority, mastering the art of sales and the discovery call, being able to consistently generate leads to build out your community and enrolling in mentoring yourself so that you can be the best coach that you can be. Okay, so... We have two ways we can go here, okay? You showed up here today for a reason. Obviously, there's a problem that you need to have solved. You are struggling in a certain area of your business building. You want to have a beautiful business that's gonna allow you that time freedom. It's gonna allow you the ability to make an impact and earn more income. And you want things to be more automated. You're tired of the grind. So, you know, either option one, you face the fears and the limiting beliefs that are holding you back and that come up so that you can finally move forward take the actions to be successful. And this is the path to transformation, growth, and finally living your dreams. And option number two is where you, you know, turn away so that you don't have to face those old limiting beliefs and fears. So this is the path to staying the same old, same old, staying stuck and not moving forward. You have a choice. Everyone has a choice for how they want to conduct themselves. If it were up to me, you know, I wasted so many years trying to figure this out. If I had this system, this Bridging the Gap Academy and tech platform on a silver platter, I would have taken it immediately. I would have paid anything for it because it would have saved me years of having to try to DIY it and figure it out myself um, until we hired the proper business coaches and mentoring to help us do it in the right order and take the right steps. So the Bridging the Academy 
is the complete, Bridging the Gap Academy is the complete A to Z process that guides you through the fundamental steps that you need to order in order to create your online business, develop your signature program, saving you years of struggle of trying to figure it out on your own. And so this is the academy that we've developed. It's for those who want to move from seeing one-to-one -one clients. It's not that you can't still see one-to-one -one clients, but maybe you want to implement a more automated um, business that you can leverage and streamline. And this is where you're creating your systems. You're creating your funnels. You're creating your program. You're creating your, your systems for booking a call and running people through. And we teach you how to do all of this in the academy. So the world of consulting and the world is changing. The world has changed. Everyone is getting online. If you're not in the online space these days, you're going to flounder. It's just the reality. You need to get your business online if you want to have visibility and be seen. Of course, there's place for brick and mortar. You know, of course, people need connection and interaction and human to human interaction, but you can still have that and have a signature program that your, that your in-person clients can even go through. There are different ways of marrying these two ways of working together, but no matter what, having a system in place is everything because no matter if you work online or in person, it's going to have to streamline your efforts and make your life a hundred times easier. Okay. So these are some of the topics we do cover in the academy. We outline your vision, we set goals, we teach you how to master your time, we teach you how to work through fear blocks and money blocks, we help you increase your self-confidence, we teach you how to effectively coach your clients, put the right messaging out there, create your brand, create your signature program, build out your systems, build out your sales funnels, generate leads, I mean everything, everything. This entire academy includes everything that you need. The price is in British pounds, Gabby's in the UK, and I'm in uh, Canada. So just to let you know, that's why you see British pounds there. And of course, see, these are the features that I was talking about that I'm not going to focus on because the transformation is at the end of this, you're going to be able to do so much more than you are doing right now. But we do have, of course, lots of video modules. We have weekly group coaching calls. We have handouts, PDFs, homework for you to complete, checklists, workbooks, all of that. We have a pri private Facebook group and we have check-ins it depends on what level you actually purchase and i can show you all of that now but at the end this is what you can expect to achieve so you're going to have a complete step-by-step -step business building roadmap okay for getting visible to your clients and getting them into your programs and services you'll have clarity on your foundations of your business you're going to have clarity on your processes of what it takes to take someone from let's say someone who's checking out your stuff to actually being a paying client and you're going to have full confidence in your skills as a coach or practitioner to finally know that you can guide your clients through transformation and they're going to be getting everything they need. Once you have the systems in place, you show up with so much more confidence. Once your stuff looks good also, it is so important for your landing pages to look good and not be glitchy and for the tech to run smoothly because if, it, if you make a mistake, your, your ideal clients, you have one chance to make a first impression. They're not going to trust you after if your systems are screwed up. So you have to have everything nice in place, functional, working, um, functional. That's basically the word I'm looking for. So once your stuff looks good, you show up with confidence. You show up like a boss and you're like, look at my stuff. And you're, you're proud to send people to your landing pages because you know they work, they're not glitchy and they look good. Okay. So this is just a little bit more about the academy and this is a fast action bonus for those who are ready to register in the academy. I'm going to take you through that in a little bit too. And know guys that this is possible for you. So if you think, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to do this. This is a hundred percent possible for you because I did it. And so many other of our practitioners do it. If, if we can do it, you can do it too. Okay. So it's time to confidently sign those paying clients, get people into your world and make a profession out of your passion and expertise. Okay. So it's very comprehensive as well. Okay. So I want to bring you to the full bridging the gap system. So what is it that we've developed? We've developed the Academy, which is what I focused on in this class and this masterclass here. We also have the tech platform and we have done for you health courses on Thursday. I will be talking to you in depth about the tech platform. So this is how it works. We have three levels of our program. We have the bronze, the silver, and the gold. The bronze is 73 US dollars a month about, 
that's about 57 pounds a month for the tech platform. This is only the tech platform. I see people purchasing the tech platform with us and they end up needing so much support that we usually put them into the gold or at least put them into the silver. The silver is the tech platform plus the academy and the gold is the tech platform, the academy and the customized business coaching. This is the handholding. We feel that our gold clients are doing the best. They're thriving because they actually have us to hold their hand and keep them accountable and guide them and support them. We, we support everybody, but obviously with the gold level membership, we support them a little bit more. And you can look at other tech platforms out there and all of the systems that you need in order to actually run an online business. You can't leave any system out. You really need all of them. And you're going to see that just paying for those systems separately, they're all in different places. They're not communicating with, an, with one another is going to cost you so much more. In the tech discussion on Thursday, I will go in depth about what you need the tech pieces that you need and what they normally cost. We've done like a little market analysis and what they cost with us. Okay, so I wanna congratulate you for staying till the end. I want to give you your free valuable gift, which is the five pillars to a successful health practice guide and workbook. I highly suggest you print this out. It's beautiful. It's gonna help you with your business, your life. It's gonna help you just think about things, um, print it off and journal in the exercise and you're going to love it. It really is very insightful, raises a lot of awareness. Now, if you want to get in touch with us, um, I'm going to leave a link below for you to, to book your health practice strategy call. This is where you can get on a very in-depth call between Gabby and myself. We'll do an audit. We'll look at what your systems are now, what's working for you, what's not working for you, what your website looks like. We've been on calls with our clients lately with really bad websites. And I'm not just saying they look bad, but they're not functional. They're not functional for driving traffic into their world. So your website really needs to be set up properly. Your systems need to be set up properly and you have to have the right systems in place. So we look at your stuff. We do an audit. It's a free call. We give you lots of value. We give you steps to take, you know, next steps to take. And then if you're interested in working with us, we'll invite you into one of our levels of our program. So thank you so much guys in Leads for Entrepreneurs for being with me today. I really appreciate your time and energy and attention and always reach out to me. I'm in the group. And if you need any help and support building your online business, I am definitely here to help you get through this in the fastest, easiest way possible without the overwhelm, without the procrastination, without the tears and without getting stuck or frozen in inaction. Okay. So just reach out. I'm here to support you. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a beautiful day. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.